In this video, I want to show you guys how you can use the calculate function for your Power BI reports. We won't just cover how to write it, but also when and why you should be using them, using real world scenarios that you could face during development. I'll also show you some of the ways that you can use this function at the very end of this video. So if you're interested in that, stick around to the very end. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's start with this scenario here. I have a subset of the Northwind database here that contains some sample customer sales data. It shows us the customer name, how many products they bought with quantity, and what unit price is for each of them. I've also created a measure called total sales, which uses some X to multiply the unit price against quantity in order to get the total sales per customer. In my previous video, I covered how to use the SumX feature, uh, so I won't try to explain that here. If you want to get a deep dive of that function, go check that video out. Imagine your client wants to highlight a specific customer with a callout card showing the total sales that that customer generated. The customer's name is around the horn. You say, great, that's actually pretty easy to do. All we need to do is create the card and pull in the total sales measure. It's already made for us here. We just drag in a filter to the visual so it only filters out the customer that we want and bam, that's done. You can see that it matches with the value that we have on our table. Your client says, that's great. Now I want to see this as a percentage of the total amount of sales. So our client now wants to see how much this customer's sale represents to the total amount of sales. So to do that is actually pretty simple, right? All we need to do is to get the total number of sales for that customer and divide it to the total sales overall. However, we run into a problem that the totals are both derived from the same column, just filtered in different ways. In this case, we need to be able to explicitly define a specific customer's total sales, while at the same time be able to get the total sales so we can do our division. This is where the calculate function comes to the rescue. This function lets you add or modify the filter context for an expression. Let me show you what I mean. Let's create a new measure and name it percent of total. Let's type calculate and you can see it asks for an expression. So basically what we want to evaluate. Let's put total sales here and magic happens in the second bit of this function, which is the filter. Let's put customer name is equals to around the horn, which is the name of the customer. If I close this up and chuck it into a callout card, you'll see that it shows the same value as our previous card here. The only difference is how it's being filtered. It gets even more noticeable when I drag our measure into the data table. You'll see that regardless of the context on the table itself, our measure will always show the total sales for our customer around the horn. We don't actually mean to use it on the table, so let's remove this and let's go back to our measure here because we need to get the percentage, we're not finished yet. If I just write slash and total sales measure, that should do the trick for us. Let's just change the format of our measure to a percentage and here we go the total percentage of our customer to the total sales. Now let's try to tinker around with this function to see what other cool things we can do with it. Let's format our DAX code a little bit so we can understand what we're looking at. I'll copy our DAX code and paste it into a DAX formatter online. This one is by sqlbi.com. Pretty handy utility. Select short lines and hit format. It generates a formatted version for us. Our code was pretty small and we could have done this manually, but I just wanted to show you how you can use a formatter online to beautify your codes a little bit, especially when you have to deal with longer or more complex DAX codes. Let's add another dimension to our data table, shall we? Let's add product into it. You can see that it now gives us the list of products that our customers bought from us. Let's modify our measure to show us the value for Alfred's Futterkist instead. I just want to show you guys something. You can see this customer sales represent 34% of the total sales. That's great. Let's say we wanted to only see the expensive products in our measure. We can do that by adding another filter to our measure. Line four is where we define the filters. And if we add a comma here, you'll see that the calculate function lets us add an unlimited number of filters. So great. 
let's say unit price is greater than five. So only the products that cost more than 50. It gives us 6%. So it's telling us that most of the sales came from low cost, but high quantity products. And just by looking at our table, we can see that our highest sellers were escargots that were cheap, but sold a lot. And some of the others were the same. So let's say we want to see the total percentage of two customers, Alfred's Futterkist and around the horn. We need a scenario that basically checks if the customer is either one of these. That's easy peasy. Let me show you how you can do that. I can remove the unit price stuff because we don't need that for this. Write two vertical lines because that's the logical operator for or. Customer name equals to around the horn and bam. Now we have the percentage of total sales for both the customers. Pretty easy, right? So just to recap, the calculate function lets you modify the filter context of an expression. You can add more than one filter to your calculate function if you need that extra level of granularity. And having access to logical operators like less than, greater than, and, or, gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to controlling the filter context. The calculate function seems super simple to use, but it's so powerful. You'll see it in a lot of times when you have to deal with complex calculations in the future. So what did you think? Did you have a better understanding of the calculate function now? Let me know in the comment section below. I've linked all of the resources that are used in this video, like the Northwind database or the DAX formatter in the description box below. So it's there if you need them. Give this video a like if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys again on the next one.